initially we got a shots fired call. Uh, I was running zone that night, so I took it. Officer Hosey backed me up. I arrived on scene. Initially, I didn't hear any shots fired, nothing like that. We were told that shots were coming from inside the building at 178 Second Ave North. Upon arrival, I checked because it's a liquor store slash apartment complex and Airbnb that has the same address. Checked the bottom floor, couldn't see anything immediately, couldn't hear anything. Uh, at that time, I requested code to get access into the building. Was waiting on Officer Hosey to show up and the code. Shortly after, Officer Hosey showed up. As soon as she got out of the car, almost immediately, the RV started making an announcement. Somewhere along the lines, don't quote me exactly, but it's, there is a large bomb within this vehicle. Your primary objective is to evacuate. I wasn't quite sure what I heard, so I looked at Officer Hosey just to verify we heard the same thing, and then it started over. At that time, I called and notified Sergeant Miller. He said, get everyone you can out there. I requested all units available from our precinct to come. They show up. I ask Officer Toppin and Wells to block off 2nd and Broadway, 2nd and Commerce. They did. Uh, Officer Sipos and Hosey went inside to start knocking on doors, and Officer Wells came up. At this time, Sergeant Miller's there. I asked him for any further directives, stuff like that. Uh, at that time, we set up our cars to kind of set up as much of a barricade as we can, keep people out. We go inside. Uh, just before we go inside, probably about five minutes after we're there, I'd say that the timer then started counting down. Officer Hosey and Officer Wells are the first ones that noticed that. Uh, in between this, I did look at the RV, noticed that all the shades were down, and kind of walked around it to see if there was a tag, anything like that, to try and get more info. I did not notice one. Uh, from there, myself, Officer Hosey, Wells, and Sipos went into the building and knocked on all the doors we could to notify as many people as we could that we had a possible uh, public safety concern and that we needed people to evacuate. We noticed that there was a basement exit, so we asked everyone to go down and out the basement. Uh, we essentially made contact with, I believe, six, seven apartments and asked them to evacuate the rest we never got an answer, so we moved outside and tried to move down the street. I went northbound towards the hotel up that way, and Officer Hosey, Sipos, and Wells continued southbound towards the other places. From there, uh, pretty much sometime later, the music started, uh, and I notified over the air to notify other officers and then after the song, it continued to go back to the announcement for a little while. Uh, after it switched back, I did notice that there was a gentleman and his dog that came out of 217 2nd Avenue North. I noticed him. I went up to him to notify, hey, you need to get inside, notify anyone you can, and please evacuate. Uh, shortly after that, the explosion went off. I got knocked to the ground. Uh, I immediately got up. Luckily, no injury, nothing like that. I noticed the gentleman in shock with his dog. I checked on him, got him inside, uh, went back, checked on Sergeant Miller, who was inside his car at the time. Uh, he seemed all right. I opened his door. He was cutting his airbag that went off the way. Then I ran down, noticed Officer Hosey putting out radio traffic, and I noticed Officer Wells, to my, or Sipo, sorry, to my left. Uh, at that point, they seemed okay, so I ran forward into kind of the debris area. I noticed what appeared to be four people that came out of, I believe, 178 2nd Avenue North that we weren't able to get contact with. They seemed in shock and in awe of what was going on. At that time, to get their attention, I yelled at them, and told them they need to get safety and run. 
they took off running northbound on second. I'm not sure where they went from there. Uh, from there, I did a quick quick sweep of the road and everything else, see if I could see anyone else, and I noticed that the other cars were on fire in the area. Wasn't sure if possibly they were going to explode too, so at that time I pulled back and resources started coming to us, and I just assisted the best I could with keeping people back from that point. So that's essentially uh, 